providing for those who had no hope. He gave them hope. Yeah. Woman caught in adultery, he forgave her sins and put a crown on her head and told her to go and sin no more. Uh, he was anointed by the power of God. And he taught about the Holy Ghost. He said, uh, it's good for you that I go away. Now, you ever think about what he was saying there? Here, here Jesus had been with them for nearly three years. And, 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 and they didn't have to worry about paying their taxes. When the time came to pay taxes, told them to go out to the, to the lake and, and catch a fish. And, and that's, that's the money in the fish's mouth. If they got hungry, all they had to do was just to break bread and give thanks and boy happy meal became sufficient to feed five thousand. He had been with them, turned water into wine, walked on water, spoke to the wind and caused the storms to cease. And he gave peace in the midst of storm. And yet he says to them, it's good that I'm leaving you. Because if I don't leave you, the Holy Ghost will not come. Jesus had spoken to the disciples and said, the Holy Ghost is, is a comforter. And people, God knows we need comfort. Some, sometimes we, we, we pain, we hurt, we grieve, we, we, we agonize, we suffer. But thank God for the Holy Ghost. How many have ever been comforted by Him? Jesus declared that the Holy Ghost is a comforter. He also declared that the Holy Ghost is a, is a paraclete. That's a Greek word. It really means one who stands alongside. Now, if you've ever had a, a bully in your neighborhood, and you, you, you couldn't handle the bully, but if you had a big brother who would stand alongside you, you wouldn't have to worry about the bully because the big brother would take care of the bully. Jesus declared that the Holy Ghost is a paraclete to stand alongside you in the midst of your weakness when you are afraid, when you are filled with the sense of being alone. He said, I'm there with you. I'm the paraclete to stand by you. He's the spirit of truth. And God knows we need the spirit of truth today. There's a lying spirit loose. Live when the truth will do better. All the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. The truth about who God is. The truth about who man is. The truth about heaven. The truth about hell. The truth about the Bible, the Word of God. The truth about life. The truth about death. The spirit of truth is the Holy Ghost. The spirit of the living God. And so the evidence that we've learned and we've Rehearsed and we've respected and discussed is the evidence of speaking in tongues. Let us not become so sophisticated in this 21st century that we feel that it's extraneous and unnecessary. Everything that God has provided is is, is important. He doesn't. He, even the folk, the doctors that know why your appendix is there, God knows He put it there. God knows why he has provided everything for the benefit of his people. But there are some additional evidences in, in addition to the speaking in tongues. Oh, it is wonderful to have the privilege to speak in a language that you didn't learn. And to praise God. And to glorify God. And to build up one's inner sense of being belonging to me. Yes, yes. It's wonderful. Yes. But there's some other evidence I want to talk about it. And, and, and the first evidence, that in addition to the speaking in tongues, is that being filled with the Holy Ghost causes us to become useful in the kingdom. Some of us from down south used to hear the grown folks say that you ain't good for nothing. <laughs> Which meant that you were not useful. You, you, you really just occupied space and ate food and wore clothes, but 
you didn't do anything. You were not useful. How, how many know that, that we are the citizens of the kingdom of God? And the kingdom of God is, is the rule of God, the domain of God. The, the, the kingdom of God is where God is in charge. And, and if you're a citizen in the kingdom, you, you ought to be useful in the kingdom. It is the Holy Ghost that makes us useful. What, what is God doing in your life? There are those who've been in the church for 15, 20 years and still trying to find out why I'm here. Slow down. Get a hold of yourself. Because if you receive the Holy Ghost of God, the Holy Ghost will show you what it is God wants you to be involved in in His work. By the way, whatever it is that the Holy Ghost has equipped you that you, you really enjoy doing and you do well, it may be that you're calling. Maybe it's not your calling to stand behind this pool, but maybe it's your calling to stand at the trolley station or in the mall. But you need to understand that being filled with the Holy Ghost renders one useful in the kingdom of God. Useful that one has the Holy Ghost. You don't have to beg them or bribe them to serve God. Well, I know you don't have that problem in the fourth jurisdiction. But, but if you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you have that attitude that whatever my hands find to do, I will say it with all my might. When you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you can join with St. Paul and say, Amen. We are workers together with him. What, what kind of work are we doing? We're binding up broken hearts. We're speaking the word of encouragement. We're, we're doing the will of God. We're spreading the good news and we're peacemaking. The baptism, the evidence of the baptism is being useful. Is God using you in his service? I don't hear singing much anymore. Use me, Lord. In your service, draw me nearer every day. I, I'm willing to work. We, we call the young people organization, the Church of God in Christ, the young people's willing workers. And that wasn't just coming to class and read the book. It involved sharing the faith. It involved doing the work of God. The, the, the third evidence that I want to leave with you tonight is. The Holy Ghost renders one effective, makes one, it gives a sense of effectiveness in the doing of the work. I believe that uh, two persons can go through Harvard's medical school. One is brilliant, the other is brilliant. Both receive the finest medical education that's available. But I believe that the one who's filled with the Holy Ghost will be the better doctor. I believe that two people can have credentials from San Diego State or Santa Barbara or Stanford. And one is filled with the Holy Ghost. And the other just filled with not.